am Nathan Oakley and to make my aging five-year-old PC run a little cooler and quieter I upgraded the existing PWM fan which was 18 centimeters to a 20 centimeter PWM fan from Noctua and also added this that you can see on screen now which is a 12 by 25 PWM fan so the passive cooler had an 18 centimeter fan blowing over the entire PC including the graphics card which didn't run when at a low load and the passive power supply below so by adding a Y splitter and two fans to the case it ended up with a situation where the PC would run completely passive thanks to the two low noise adapters and the use of a single header for this 20 millimeter fan and the new addition of the 12 centimeter fan that goes on the bottom of this CPU heatsink that you can see on screen now. This is my 200 millimeter PWM side fan and it's running off a splitter from the main CPU header with this little fan which is underneath the heatsink for the CPU and I don't know if you can see this one just trying to turn but essentially this PC is now completely passive so the fans under here a bit dusty they're not running and my power supply is passive anyway so it has no fan in it so this is currently a passive PC completely passive no fans running now I took the side panel off to do this now because I noticed on the actual computer screen it said that the fan had stopped and it has it's just trying to come on because the PC's now been on for a little while uh, long enough for me to pull the sofa out and get inside the PC so there you go a completely passive PC no hacks in terms of how the BIOS runs a Y splitter from Noctua along with the two low noise adapters running off one header very janky but has made the PC run completely passive very 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 cool should really show that it is actually running I suppose you must be able to tell because it's got that fan trying to start